sub you to simply Oh, no luckier. And today we have an epic Yu-Gi-Oh video, but first I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane content, and please, if you can, give this video a thumbs up. All right, you guys, because of the quarantine, we'll have some videos done at the house, and today's video is going to be from 2017, the Yugi and Kaiba tins. It's going to be epic, it's going to be awesome, and it's interesting because these tins themselves are pretty dang awesome, but the Mega Pack inside is actually one of the least valuable ever made because of cards getting limited or banned, especially like Zodiacs and Totally Awesome now with the recent ban list. So uh, let's start with the Yugi tin though here. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we can still pull some of the epic cards inside. Part of the cards guide us. This will be a unedited video, by the way, guys. This is straight from the house to the tube. Here we go. All right, we have Dark Magician here with uh, the beautiful Mega Packs. Let's see what we get. Pot of Desires, I believe, is a very sought after card from one of these. Let's check inside. All right, we have the Dark Magician, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Then we have Proxy Dragon, Pot of Desires. There we go. Oh, baby. Banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down and then draw two. You can only use one per turn. Powerful card. Um, Pot of Avarice, by the way, just came off the ban list and is at three now. Number 71, Rebarian Shark. Dreamland. I like this card. I like that picture a lot. And then the token. Very nice. So we'll set a couple cards aside here. Put our tin back together. So we got our token. We got our Dark Magician. And then, of course, our Pot of Desires. Good start to this epic video. And three Omega Packs. Um... Pretty much since the value here isn't exactly where you would hope a tin would be at or a mega pack would be at. Honestly, I'm hoping that in the Yugi tin we potentially get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Yugi cards and then in the Kaiba tin some Kaiba. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. All right, first pack here. We got Terminal World next. Gear Gia Change. Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Super Quantal Alpha and Strike. Nice. Deskbot Bass. Perform Pal Gungato. And Metal Flows Fusion, nice. That's actually a really good card, um, or was. Nice to see, though. And Foolish Barrel Goods, one of the more valuable, consistent cards in the set. Um, if you look at a value of these tins, you're looking at like a $20 value. So $40 challenge for this video would be what we'd expect. And uh, yeah, already in the pack right here, getting about $8 worth in value. So Foolish Barrel Goods, definitely a decently valued card. And Stardust Cypher Divine Dragon. Very cool. Uh, Foolish Barrel Goods, though, very nice. We got the super heavy samurai soul peacemaker and perform pal cell shell paleo zoos got a digital bug more paleo zoos and a card of the soul i actually kind of like that picture is that yugi i don't think we're supposed to be able to tell i like that though and then uh shino birds shino birds calling very cool look at your deck and do some shenanigans all right next pack mega pack 2017 first edition here we go Maybe we'll get the, uh, get the Yugi tin right there just to show that off a little bit. And yes, I have a Heroes of the Storm play met today because, yes. <laughs> All right, we got Forbidden Dark Contract with the Swamp King. Metal Foes Silver Red, Silvered. Eater of Millions, that's a good card. Very nice to see. Got a Digital Bug Cocoon Dancer, Empowerment. Symphonic Warrior and Mikes. Fulfillment of Metal, metal Foes. Uh, full Metal Foes Fusion, sorry. Um, nice to go with our other Metal Foes Fusion. Maybe it's a good sign. We're going to get some epic cards. Dimensional Barrier. Very nice. This is actually one of the more valuable cards in the set here. Um, people thinking that it may be a bit more usable with the new format of not having to actually uh, use monsters from your extra deck or some monsters from your extra deck to the extra monster zone or monsters link point to for the Xyz, Synchro, and Fusion. So very nice to see this. Dimensional Barrier, you guys. Uh so hopefully, oh, another start of Cypher Divine. <laughs> but this so far, this is actually about as good as it gets without Totally Awesome. That's pretty cool. High Speed Roid Puzzle, Cypher Bit, Perform Power, Rank Up, uh, Crystron Impact, speaking of Needle Fiber, uh, Ritual Beast, Hebo, Hebo. All right, two pretty epic cards from this pack. Next Mega Pack, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Mare, mare. Not as uh, good anymore. I think the combo was ruined. Uh, Spirit's Blessing. That's uh, Shadal's. Paleozoics. Here we go. 
And Dark Magic Circle, we got the Dark Magician card, Secret Rare, and White Stone of the Ancients for Kaiba. Oh baby, that's actually one of the Ultras I definitely wanted to pull from this pack. That is very cool to see. And Super Anti-Kaiju War Machine Mech, I'm trying to remember which Kaiju. I don't believe that's the one that actually has uh, quite a bit of value, but this easily got our value back from our pack here, which is these three cards. Now, that's really nice. Holy guacamole, getting some epic packs. I love it, I love it. Dimensional Barrier, Foolish Burial Goods. Got our Dark Magic Circle. And here, we'll set, we'll set these cards over here to the side for now. That is some epic packs from uh, Yugi's Tin here. All right, now it's time for Kaiba's Tin. Let's see what happens next. We'll see who wins in this battle. Value-wise, I definitely think we got our $15 value easy peasy. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually, more close to probably a $20 value from that tin. All right, time for Kaiba, guys. Let's see if Kaiba has what it takes to beat the Yugi. You could say this is a $40 challenge video, and I think we're definitely doing pretty dang good so far. Man, when you see a blue eyes like that, you're just like, yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Card is epic. Card is amazing. It's blue eyes. Uh, if you guys can, check out Kaiba's briefcase. That was a video we did recently, and it was absolute insanity. Some of the most valuable cards I've ever seen in my life. Um, check it out when you guys get a chance. All right. Blue Eyes White Dragon, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, beautiful. Legendary Dragon's a powerful engine of destruction. Proxy Dragon again. Pot of Desires is in both of these? What? Uh, number eight, Sky Prison. That's actually decently valuable. Um, Elder Entity, I believe that holds some value as well. And the token. What the heck? I didn't realize you get Pot of Desires in both of these. I'll just use the three and three. I had no idea. That's crazy. Okay. Well, instant like four or five dollar value just from Pot of Desires by opening a tin. Then we got our Dark Magician and our tokens here. There we go. Okay. So three more mega packs. I don't know if we could beat Kaiba side here. Totally awesome would knock us out of the park. Um, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Did not realize that Pot of Desires was in all of these tins. Paleo Zos. Performa Pal. Fusion Fright Waltz, Zodiac Sign, Shino Bird Crow, Metal Foes Counter, Metal Foes Combination, Yu Yo! Zodiac Barrage! What? That's crazy. Just, uh, well, some of the Zodiacs were affected on the ban list, so this card is definitely holding a little more value now. Is that really another Stardust Cypher Divine? Do you guys realize we have three of those from four packs? This is insanity. Mausoleum White, Zodiac Barrage, that's crazy. Rank Up Counter, or Rant Up Magic Cypher, Kaiju Files. Christrons and Ritual Beast. I always like the Ritual Beast art. Cool. Um, wow. Okay, Zodiac Barrage. That's a good start. <laughs> that's crazy that we're getting these three to five dollar cards. Very good opening so far. All right. Fours of the true Dracos. Got the Seal Eel. Got Sleeper. Escape Ghost Coast to Coast. Ninjutsu Art. Phantom Knights Rank Up. Sea Monster uh, Tessius. Somewhere around there. And Electro Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. Super Heavy Samurais. We got the Dino Mist, Soul Black Wings. Hebo. <laughs> heavy Freight Train, Derek Crane. Um, I like the Sea Monster, though. You can bring this out with the Instant Fusion, and it actually gives you a tuner. So, interesting card to note there. Instant Fusion now, I believe, limited to one, though. So, All right, last pack of Destiny. Come on. Kaiba. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Metal Foes Counter Sleeper. Hey, Priestess with the Eyes of Blue. That's a pretty super rare card. And Zodiac Dryden. Oh, man, I'm trying to remember. I believe Dryden came off the ban list. I'm trying to remember. Is that really another Stardust Divine Cypher Dragon? What the heck? And what? Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. We actually got the valuable Kaiju from the set. What? Two Zodiacs. And the kaiju. Got the kaiju over here, too. Okay, hold on. I think, uh, what's his name? Yusei is trying to tell us something here. How many of those freaking Stardust did we get? Is it really four? I refuse. I refuse. Is it really four? That is insane. I've never seen something like that from two tins. We got four of the same ultra rare, you guys. What? Let's go ahead and read it. It's a Dragon Synchro with what it looks to be 12 stars. I'm just 
going to, yeah. One tuner synchro, so it does need a tuner synchro, a little harder to get out already. And then two or more non-tuner synchro, so it does take three synchro monsters, at least. Must be synchro summoned, cannot be special summoned by the ways. The first time each card you're, you control would be destroyed each turn by battle or card effect, it's not destroyed, great. Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, negate that effect, and if you do, destroy one card on the field. Wow. You can banish this card from your grave and then target a level 8 or lower Stardust monster in your grave and special summon it. Pretty cool. Um, I guess Quasar, if you guys know Quasar off the top of your head, is probably considered a little better than this guy because of how difficult he is to summon. I think they require the same thing. All synchros, one tuner synchro. So, Wow. That is insanity, though. I did not know these tins both had Pot of Avarice, or forgot, I guess you could say. Uh, so these tins actually hold a little more uh, value than I thought they did. I think we definitely got our, um, our close two over here. Yeah, with these these three, I don't know. Um, definitely got a $40 value back, though, you guys. That's pretty cool to complete a challenge like that. Epic video. Um, and actually, I was thinking we could open one more thing. This is called the Duelist Saga right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. We've probably made you know, uh, over 20 videos on it. And um, it's one of my favorite sets because the ultra rare foil inside, you can see here, the Dual Saga box contains three cards, foil cards, total of five cards per box, and has the all new ultra rare technology. It's like a parallel ultra rare. And I really was hoping to get blue eyes. And so I was able to get one of these with the blue eyes pack. And I was like, you know, Kairiba has been good to us lately. So let's see if we can pull the blue eyes card, especially after the briefcase video, guys. I was like, where is another way to get the original art um, Blue Eyes, except that's not from the Star Deck and that's not from DDS. And I was like, I think just Dual Saga, maybe a couple other places, but I'll just, let's see if we can make it happen. New cards from every TV show. Very nice. Collect memorable cards from the entire history of Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise with the Dual Saga. This set, special set features new cards from all five incarnations of the Yu-Gi-Ohs. Mixed, <laughs> there's more than that now. Mixed with animated series as well, the cards inspired from some of the coolest monsters and concepts from each one. All right. So, again, supporting Yugi and Kaiba, just like the tins here. Got the Yugi pack and the Dual Saga here. These little Dual Saga things are about $20 in value now, pretty easily. So, 15 is usually what I'd go for on these, but um, let's see if we can make 20 happen. We'll start with the Cyber Dragon, and then we'll go back to the Yugi over here. And then we got Kaiba over there. All right, here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. There's that ultra rare technology. We got Goyo. Brain control. There's a Kaiba card. A legacy of the hero. Bro Hunter. And a lightning wing shield. All right, all right. Some decent value inside of here. Light wing shield. But I'm going to take that brain control and set it right there. Okay, now time for the Yugi pack. Can we pull the blue eyes, you guys? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. Battle Fader. Black Rose Dragon. Nice ultra rare technology. <laughs> Love it. Oh, the shield again. Dark Summoning Beast. Keep your eye on this guy. He'll be uh, probably common in the structure deck. Uh, coming out soon for the Sacred Beast. And Synchro Call. Cool Black Rose Dragon, though. Nice to go with our four Stardust Divine Cypher Dragons down there. That's insane. All right. Set that right there. And time for the Blue Eyes Pack. I feel like because we're opening a Blue Eyes Pack, trying to pull Blue Eyes, we probably have an increased 5% chance of pulling him. <laughs> I think he's about 1 in 30. So let's see what happens. Hey, Formula Synchron. That is a tuner synchro monster um, that will help us summon our Stardust Cypher Divine Dragon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, Cyber Dragon. Nice. That's a pretty epic card. We have the Cyber Dragon pack there. Okay. We've got another Dark Summoning Beast. I think that's a sign that we need to do some more Sacred Beast content. You guys stay tuned for that. Synchro Call and Converging Wings. All right. Well, got a Formula Synchro on there. Very nice, you guys. Okay. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It was pretty nice to do a video from home here during our a quarantine. We'll still try to do some videos at the shop when we can, but just stay tuned, you guys. It'll be, it'll be pretty fun, pretty epic. Also, uh, check out the links at the top of the description below. We should have some uh, some epic things you can check out there, especially the Simple and Lucky Playmats. If you guys are wanting to support Simple and Lucky during this time, we appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And see you, Unlucky, signing out.